Hey guys, here at EBMX, I'm with Bruno Power. Wow. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the bypass on the new Surround 2023. Brand new one, mate. Brand new battery. This is 40 amp hours. Mm -hmm. right? So it's a little bit bigger. They finally moved on from the Panasonic PEF. Yeah. What I, was that, about 32 and a half amp hours? Yeah, so mm. 32.5 uh, amp hours. Now they moved to 40 amp hours. Panasonic PF was beautiful, but old technology. Bigger um, cells now. I was using Panasonic PF in 2014 and I was already old. <laughs> <laughs> so they finally moved on from that very stable and nice battery. And now, so basically the main thing is, so this pack used to open from this side. They changed some things here, Reverse not just the cell. Maybe they, cha they changed some, some more things here. Yeah. Uh, now the pack open from this side. So the bypass instructions that we done in the past yep. looks slightly different, slightly different. So people might open this pack and be like, oh. Mm -hmm. So this is, you can notice that this is uh, higher. So it used to have a lot more room here before. So now it's nearly all the way to the top near the flush. Yep. Um, and here's the thing. So there's a lot of <laughs> thinking here, like a back and forth. Should we change the uh, bypass leads and offer different mm. for new and older battery? But that's gonna cause uh, logistic problems for us. Big and logistics. maybe mm. for the customers as well. So ideally we find a solution to use these ones and these batteries, right? So one thing I noticed, so because the main discharge connector, this one here, if you flip the battery this way, like mm -hmm. the old way, the connector will be up here. So all the connections are done here, up here. It will be it was a lot easier to crimp the connectors, even use a large crimper like this. That's a big one. It's very easy to do <laughs> all here. Bang, 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 right? So now this wire, it goes a very small wire, goes all the way to the back here. So it's kind of like a hard to access. So what do you want? You want to get a side cutter like this, something like that, and just go and cut there. Be careful not to cut any wire in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have access, tipping the battery this way. You can see the black wire going all the way there, right? Yep. I, this is the first one that I've done. Uh, I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna cut very short because I need some length here to do the crimping and everything. So I can actually pick up with the crimper on this side here, right? Yep. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna cut quite short over there. It's a bit too short, so you need a little bit more than this. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Um, all I want to do with this is just to put a heat shrink here, okay? So just leave, this is, this is, will be okay to put a heat shrink. Yep. But just leave enough to put a heat shrink. Don't cut too close, otherwise you're gonna have the- Same problem with Bruno's it got. Do, it doesn't do mm. anything be hanging mm. there, but you just don't want, you wanna yeah. cover up, all right? All right, so other, other people learning from your mistakes here, Bruno? Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Don't cut too short. That was the first one. I have an excuse. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So, uh, and then you're going to you're gonna find, as soon as you open here, you're going to find a, like a little snot, yep. a yellow snot glue. That's very common for electronic stuff. Um, so, yeah, you're going to have them here. They, it's like a Loctite. They use for like a... Pick, so pick nothing the, moves around. Pick the snot away. Pick the snot away. <laughs> uh, it breaks really easily. It's yeah. like a crunchy snot. So you just use side cutters or anything like a screwdriver. Yep. Just yep. go bang, bang, bang. Just, just pick it, right? Yep. Uh, clear very well because sometimes there's some, uh, just with your nail or whatever. Scrape it off. Yeah, because sometimes it, it leaves some residue there. Uh, so one thing you're going to notice that these bolts, they're just, just long enough to do the job i i wasn't very sure if it was going to even bite into it because mm -hmm. there's no much thread here left but yeah just enough it, ju it bites it bites quite nice but don't go like a crazy torque here because remember this is just a brass insert yep. Yep. so brass insert it's not as hard as steel so yeah, he actually le bites le Less well. is more. Don't get a torque wrench or something. Oh. <laughs> so another thing is, uh, so basically never disconnect the, the BMS connected to the battery. Never. They run a data log, they run everything. And it, a lot of Talaria, Suron, many mm. other uh, manufacturers, if you disconnect the BMS, it freaks out. Yep. Intentionally 
dies sometimes. Yep. Okay? Yep. Just so you're not supposed to be doing that. You would definitely you lose warranty. definitely lose your warranty. Yeah, if you did lots that. of people disconnect Talaria, Saron, they never come back. Mm. Right? Mm. Especially uh, the Talaria doesn't doesn't really like it particularly, doesn't like <laughs> it. Um, all right, so and then you keep this on and do one by one, just like we did with the Saron. The Saron we have uh, used to be three wires. Like you, you always have three wires coming from the BMS because that's how they spread the load between the MOSFETs here, right? So and then three wires, it used to be three, bang, bang, bang. Now they, because it's easy for manufacturing, they put into one lug and just go with one lug here, bang, that's it, right? It's probably faster for manufacturing, um, right? So it, we still can use this. So it, they, they have four holes in this battery. So they have one, two, three, and under here, you're going to find another hole. So you can even, you can even see here the red one. So one, one insert yep. here, another yep. one, three, four. Yep. So four. And you see, this metal, you see this metal here from here to here? Yep. That's actually the cell terminal. Okay. So this is the, the bus bar that connects straight to the cells. So ideally, ideally, you spread the load here as well. So the way they've done here, if you ask me, Mm -hmm. I would move this bus bar right here to the middle, right? Yeah. I would so you certainly... pick one, two, and four. One, two, and four. I yep. was trying to, to put this one here in the back here, whatever. Yep. Uh, you just, you don't really have access under this lug. This is a solid lug. It doesn't really mm -hmm. bend. Some, some lugs you can, uh, if they're thin lugs, you can, like the previous lugs, they're quite flexible. This one's a solid one. So you can't really bend this. Um, so you can crimp the wire. You can crimp all this wire and hang it all here and then just pass it through here and pick up from the other side. Don't worry, it's not connected to anything. So you can just, you can even connect to the positive here. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. Um, as soon as you connect the first one here, the other ones, obviously, they become live. Mm -hmm. So you just be, be careful. I always keep it in like within my hands. Some people, if they, if they don't have the finger movement <laughs> that I got here. So you can use electrical tape. Yeah. Electrical tape, just isolate. I would say for devices, the, I always put electrical tape and do one by one because you, you grab a tool and you're like, yep. you forget Beep. about this hand and just go bang, some, something. Um, yeah, so do one, do the second one, one by one, okay? Yep. Always keep it connected. Yep. And then this uh, third one here. So I found, I think it's M4 bolt, okay? So it's an M4 bolt, and I think it's six mil long dip. Okay, so you just get a, um, it's not provided. We're going to be offering, uh, providing yeah, we'll, with the we'll bypass put them in the, in, the, in the kit. Yep. It's a new thing, we didn't know. Yeah, okay. We're just going to offer for now. <laughs> <laughs> so then this is the arrangement that I did. I tried to run this wire from the other side, but because this lug, if you look from frontal, is offset this way, that way. So you really have space running from the outside here and just curl, just curl like, like I did here, it works, okay? Because depending on the way you put this wire, this wants to be like, as you close here, it wants to send the wire that way. So that's why I did this, uh, I just curl this, like nice. I just did some bends here. So it doesn't send this bypass all the way here and bite here into it, okay? So that closes quite nicely. Closes like nicely, that, look, look, yeah. yeah. And then there's another thing you might notice. So there's these grooves here sticking up. Yeah. Um, you do have room and measure between here and here. It looks like it look, looks very tight, but you do have room. But just in case, I got my side cutters here, ah. and I nicked a little bit just the top plastic. We, we can we can see that. Yeah, it's just a reinforcement. But yeah, so that's the bypass here. Look. Love it. And just be careful not to avoid your warrant. <laughs> Once you've done this, that's yeah. it. There's no warranty, right? <laughs> and uh, ideally, ideally, grab a, a blob of silicon and just put a blob here. Boom, 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 boom. Um, yep. Maybe don't put here because that's for the, the cover. Mm -hmm. So the cover actually sits here. So silicon. Yeah, here. silicon just, yeah, just in, yeah. The, in the metal area here. Yep. Okay, so just avoid here. Otherwise, you're going to struggle to lift it open next time you try to open the battery. You never want to open the battery, but... <laughs> Yeah. All very, right. very nice work, Bruno. How power. many minutes? How many minutes? Uh, nine. That's it. <laughs> You've done three it. Three minutes. It'd be nine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers right. from Bruno Power and Ubermax, baby. <laughs>